Welcome to the best list. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 lesbian movies to watch on your next Netflix. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 20, Beauty. Three, two, one. <laughs> Netflix barely promoted the existence of this film, probably because it's not very good, described as the story of a young singer on the brink of a promising career who finds herself torn between a domineering family industry pressures and her love for her girlfriend. It is very clearly intended to be about Whitney Houston. Nyasi Nash plays her mother. I don't know how to sing black, white. I just know how to sing because that's what I like to do. I am not sending her out in the world to be eaten by wolves. How do you know that she's not a wolf? Do you know what they do to stars? They build you up just so they can tear you down. Can't nobody tear me down, mommy. Everyone in America is going to want a piece of her. For every good thing you get, something bad is going to happen. You'll be a fantasy. Number 19. So my grandma's a lesbian. Celia, antes tenemos que anunciarlo. ¿Estás segura? Yo sí. ¿Y tú? A young woman is already struggling with finding acceptance among her fiancé's conservative and traditional family. Now, her grandma is putting the whole engagement at risk by announcing her decision to marry her girlfriend. Number 18. Duck Butter you got four hours out of me so far. I went 24 hours. <laughs> and I want to come with you every hour. Mm -hmm. Duck Butter is a romance film directed by Miguel Arteta and stars Shocket, Laia Costa, and Kate Berlin. Exploring the depths of sexual relationships between women, we follow Nama and Leia over the course of 24 hours, both plagued by dishonesty and broken intimacy. They plan an experiment where they have sex on the hour for one day straight, but soon enough their plan is interrupted. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing? It's like dating two years. years. Yeah, we have to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I I'm an hour in the bathroom. Shit. Yeah. I want to see you getting angry. We can do it. We can fucking skip time. Number 17, Ride or Die. <laughs> <laughs> Ride or Die is a Japanese romance drama film directed by Ryuchi Hiroki and stars Kiko Muzahara and Hanami Sato. Erotic romance finally sparks in this fast-paced hunt for two women on the run. When a lesbian woman helps her best friend, with whom she has been in love for years, escape her abusive husband, they become wanted murderers, but with no time left in the world, their love may finally develop once and for all. But maybe it's okay or not to be okay when I don't know if it's to be okay or not to be okay when I was born and I was born with you. I was born and I was born with you. I was born and I was born with you. I was born Number 16. Let it snow. Hey. I just want to say, I don't really know what that was back there, but... Let It Snow is a romantic comedy film directed by Luke Smellin and stars Isabella Merst, Jamie Moore, Kiernan Shipka, Odea Rush, and Jacob Adelin. When a blizzard hits the people of small Grace Town, it doesn't show signs of stopping. But luckily, while outside freezes, the heat is rising inside. Around Christmas Eve, sexual and romantic tensions spark between the young people who are forced together by the event. Defined by a charismatic ensemble and just enough comfort, this heartfelt union makes for a joyous family film. But you inspired me. I mean, just like that night, you, you make me feel brave. And you make me feel like I want to be the best possible version of myself, so...
Number 15, The Prom. Hello, Interweb. My name is Emma Nolan, and I'm 17. The Prom is a satirical musical comedy drama fantasy film directed by Ryan Murphy and stars Meryl Streep, James Gordon, Nicole Kidman, Keegan Michael Kay, Joellen Pellman, and Ariana Dubose. Where every up there is a down, and these Broadway stars are in the middle of their lowest low. But that doesn't stop them from shaking up a small Indiana town, where conservative PDA bans same-sex couples from attending the annual prom as they rally behind a teen who wants to go to prom with her girlfriend. Their trip becomes more than an image boost. We have come to this community on behalf of a young girl. I've never felt so alone in my life. You have friends. Where are they? Your beliefs are not our beliefs. You don't know this town. I thought that when my parents rejected me, that I would never feel any worse. Okay, people, this is the part where we roll up our sleeves and we put on a prom with our own bare hands. Number 14, and plus the film. This are all herinneringen. Kleine. Domme, met goede herinneringen. Life is in a state of flux for Anne, a queer post grad living in Amsterdam. She's working hard on finishing her book while waiting to be reunited with her newly long distance girlfriend, who wants an open relationship. When Anne crosses paths with a charming drag king, though, she really starts to question what she wants. Also, and plus, the film is a continuation of the beloved Dutch web series of the same name. So if you fall in love, there's a lot more where this movie came from. Oh ja. Ja. Mensen lopen zoveel mis door niet hun fantasie en gevoelens met elkaar te delen. Mijn uitgever vroeg me wat ik nou eigenlijk te vertellen heb. Dus nu denk ik ook de hele tijd, ja, wat is nou eigenlijk mijn levenservaring? Ja. Wat wil het hoofdpersonage? Anne. Huh? Jongens, even stoppen! Alles emo! Oh. Number 13, Fear Street, Part 1. I can't. This is wrong. I feel wrong. Tell me to stop and I shall. The Fear Street trilogy is a horror film series directed by Lee Yan Yek and stars Kiana, Madeira Olivius, Scott Welch, Sadie Sink, and Jillian Jacobs. This experimental trilogy surprised audiences with the concept of releasing all three movies only weeks apart, making it one coherent story, yet each title with its individual style and themes. Taking place in the same location, but sometimes hundreds of years apart, we witness how Fear Street is not a street you want to walk down. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. When I went to Sunnyvale, I ran away from you. Because you were like... this reminder. You make me feel... like me. Number 12. Bruised. Yo, that's Jackie Justice, right? She used to be famous. Yo, miss, this is you again, sir. <laughs> Jackie Justice is a mixed martial arts fighter who leaves the sport in disgrace. Down on her luck and simmering with rage and regret years after the fight, she's coaxed into a brutal underground fight by her manager and boyfriend Desi and grabs the attention of a fight league promoter who promises Jackie a life back in the octagon. But the road to redemption becomes unexpectedly personal when Manny, the son she gave up as an infant, shows up at her doorstep. A triumphant story of a fighter who reclaims her power, in and out of the ring, when everyone has counted her out. I saw what you did. I'm offering you a second chance. You gonna take it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I don't wanna fight. I'm happy. You happy scrubbing toilets? That fulfills your purpose? We're strangers right now. But I'm all you got. I'm sorry, I just don't see it. You used to be Jackie Justice. Still am. Sometimes I'm still scared. 
This about to be the greatest story never told, never told. Number 11, The Valley of a Thousand Hills. A young woman who comes from a conservative village must choose between living a lie to stay the perfect Zulu daughter or risk her life for true love. Nasifo has a secret. She is a loving daughter held up as an example in her community. With a domineering father who has chosen a potential husband for her, but her soulmate and one true love is a woman. <laughs> I care a lot. I know what you do here. Your hustle. Look at all these cash cows on your wall just leaking money into your account. Okay, so this dark, comedic thriller about a woman who manipulates and scams older people in assisted living homes isn't exactly a lesbian romance. But you can't deny that Rosamund Pike and Isa Gonzalez make a hot couple. Marla Grayson, you've had amazing success. What's your secret? There is no secret, Peter. I will grab your dick and balls, and I will rip them clean off. I'm here to help. My name is Marla Grayson. I'm just someone who cares. Two types of people in this world. Predators and prey. I love Marla Grayson. I don't like you. You only just met me. Number nine, do revenge. I spent 17 years meticulously curating the perfect life. Do Revenge is a teen black comedy film directed by Jennifer Catton Robinson, tackling the tropes of a classical high school drama. While never taking itself too seriously, Do Revenge follows two young women who each seek their own good old revenge. With a drastic and thorough plot, the very different girls don't realize that their very worst enemy is right in front of them. Don't you want to make her pay? I don't want to make her pay. I want to burn her to the ground. Whoa. <laughs> we should team up and do each other's revenge. Love. Let's start with Carissa. She'll be a cinch. I can ruin her in my sleep. Why will Carissa be easy? It is much easier to destroy a girl. Carissa, right? We've met before. You called me a human Birkenstock. Cool. She framed me! Alisa Y. Marcella. Marcella, estás a tiempo de tener otra vida. Una vida normal. Is a Spanish biographical romantic drama film directed by Isabel Quaxet and stars Natalia Demolina and Greta Fernandez. Love will find a way in this depiction of cruel times for romance and emancipation. We witness two women having an intimate and beautiful relationship over 15 years. Hidden from the world due to the conditions of 1901. But when one of them takes on the identity of a man, they might finally get the chance to marry her. Si eres un hombre, te muestro. Te lo ruego, no, no me hagas esto. Podríamos conocer a tu marido. Pero ¿por qué se mete en la vida de los demás? La cárcel está bien. Lo que no está bien es allá afuera. Y somos un fenómeno de feria. Seis dúas están de chidas y no me toco verno portugués. Number seven, disobedience. Have you been with other women? No. Not really. Disobedience is a 2017 romantic drama film directed by Sebastian Lilio and stars Rachel Weisch, Rachel McAdams, and Alessandro Nivola. Intelligently written and not caring about controversy, Disobedience follows a woman returning to a community that once shunned her for her attraction to a childhood friend. But when meeting again, the two women's passion reign its in a journey of sexual discovery, loyalty, and fate. Following an astonishing performance from its lead actresses, 
This movie is gripping and full of thought-provoking themes. Come on, it. Is that you? I want you to give me my freedom. Number six, Colette. I love nature. And women. I can see. Colette is a biographical drama film directed by Wash Westmoreland and stars Kira Knightley, Dominic West, Eleanor Tomlinson, and Denny Ska. Exploring female emancipation in the world of art and craftsmanship, Colette centers around the famous Sidonie Gabrielle Colette, who upon being asked to ghostwrite an autobiographical novel for her husband, has to fight for ownership after the story becomes a success. But for that she must overcome societal constraints of the 20th century. Don't look away. Look at me. Look at me looking at you. Number five, the half of it. <laughs> this coming of age film follows Ellie Chu, a smart, shy high school student in a small town who makes money writing homework papers for other students. When her classmate Paul approaches her to write a love letter to their classmate Aster, Ellie agrees. Ellie and Paul start to develop a friendship as she helps him craft his communications. But Ellie soon realizes that she also has feelings for Aster. I'm 17. I live in Squamish with my dad. I run a business, writing essays for people. The good thing about being different in a town like this is that no one expects you to be like them. I guess I just never thought I'd need anyone else. Dear Aster Flores, I'm in love with you. Ooh. These hallways were murder. I'm a lead you. Yeah, I know. Come on, dude. You messaged me? Yup. What do you like about Aster? She's pretty and smart. What else could I like about her? I don't know. Where were you born? In Squamish. What do you like about Squamish? I've never been anywhere else. Me neither. Hey, it would suck to have to pretend to be not you your whole life. I gotta go. No, wait. Choo -choo. What? I had to eat said. No, you don't see her. Who she is? Love, it's not finding your perfect half. It's the trying and reaching and failing. Who she could be. Number four, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. A two, a you know what to do. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is a biographical musical drama film directed by George C. Wolfe, on stars Viola Davis, Chadwick Boseman, Glenn Turman, and Coleman Domingo. Framed by ultimate powerhouse performances and the legacy of icon Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is the exploration of passion for music, the greed that comes with success, and the conflict defining artistic personalities. Following 1920s band musicians over an afternoon of recording, the film explores how the group splits from the inside, over dark secrets that see the light of truth. I try to take that emptiness and fill it up with something. This would be an empty world without the blues. Number three, Carol. Thank you. Oh, God, don't. I look afraid. You do not. You look wonderful. Just stay like that. Carol is a 2015 romantic drama film directed by Todd Haynes and stars Kate Blanchett, Rooney Morris, Sarah Paulson, and Kyle Chandler. Living up to its groundbreaking source material and enhanced by brilliant direction and performances, Carol explores the sexual yet emotional relationship of two women set apart by societal standards and age. Set in the 1950s, the two women building an intense affair find themselves leaving behind lives they never wanted, not knowing that the past is not finished with them yet. Therese, not Teresa. No. Therese Balavet. It's lovely. And yours? Carol. Number two. Take. 
I've had it maybe three times where the person going on in front of you is so good you stop being the next comic and you become an audience member. Please welcome my friend, Tig. In 2012, Tig Notaro announced she had cancer during her stand-up set. Then, it went viral. The film follows what happened after that night, how she dealt with her diagnosis, how her relationship evolved with now wife, Stephanie Alanay, and how humor served her throughout it all. After everything that had happened, I have cancer. Uh, how's it going? Good. Good evening, hello. I have cancer, how are you? I've made so many jokes over the years about how flat-chested I was. My boobs overheard me and were just like, we are sick of this. Let's kill her. Number one, a secret love. So this is our standard one bedroom and it has a balcony. We have not had any same-sex couples, but we do have family members that are. If there was, would they be accepted? Because we are a couple. Pat Henschel and former All-American Girl Professional Baseball League player Terry Donahue have been in love for 65 years. For most of their lives, they had to keep it a secret. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. How long have you guys been together? 65 and a half. 65 and a half years. All these years they've been together and they've hid this secret from us. Anybody who was not me, they simply didn't know. I felt like I was sort of living a lie. I love my mother, but she would have disowned me.